Hello, this is Manesh Patel from MichimukuTrade.com. Today is December 23, 2013. This is our bi-weekly video for the currency forex market. Uh, this is the last video for 2013. The next video we're going to have is going to be two weeks from now, which will pretty much be at the end of the first week in January, uh, which will be perfect timing so we can kind of see where all the sector rotations and the currency rotations have happened from the, both the institutional and the world uh, perspective. In this video we pretty much cover all the currencies around the world, all the major ones uh, and so forth. Um, normal procedures, it's sort of a disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting you to buy or sell any particular instrument. If you do so you're doing that at your own risk. All the charts you're going to see are basically from TradeStation. Here of our email here at info at eiicapital.com. Also you can reach us at any of our global office locations here. Uh, or you could go to IchimukuTrade.com, access our free videos out there on Ichimuku and other things, uh, access our Facebook, Twitter feeds, also access our blogs where we blog our multiple time frame trades of the week every week for various global markets and so forth. So I definitely encourage people minimum uh, to go to the website, check out the multiple time frame email alerts, and then either sign up for Twitter or Facebook to get uh, kind of our support resistance feeds and so forth. Okay, so let's go to TradeStation. Let's start going through some of the currencies. Remember on the left-hand side is basically the daily chart and the right-hand side is basically the weekly chart. So the first set of currencies we're going to go for Australian. And if you look for the Australian currency here, um, we basically had a nice little trend here. We broke the consolidation pattern, which was 99.4, sorry, 99.45 was the bottom. Broke there, came here, kind of held it here with a little bleep above there, and then went back and basically broke a minor support, uh, 96.078. So we got a high probability of now going back down here to retest this low down here at this level right here at 9200. Um, uh, a res first minor resistance on this guy is going to be 9607. Major resistance is going to be 9734. And the support, of course, is going to be 9200. Uh, it's got a high probability, as we said, to retest this 9200 here. Uh, once it gets there, depending on what the momentum is, it, it, it could sit there and go lower to a new leg. And it's actually got momentum to sit there and break the 9200 right now. So you basically may see the uh, Australian CAD move down to a whole new level going down. Australian yen, if you look at the trend here, this is basically bullish here. Did a major pullback to this support level here, as you could see from here. Uh, it was a support level 80, 88.25. Now gone above. Uh, it's gone above here in the cloud, so we're kind of in the consolid consolidation mode right now. But remember, this is a major pullback right here. Um, it's got to hold this minor support 91.03. If it does, then it's got a high probability of going higher and retesting this high at 105. So as long as it does that, then we got a high probability of going higher. Uh, minor resistance level, it's got to sit there and break 94.500 uh, in order to go higher. Australian Switzy. This is a nice little trend going down. This thing is going down here, pulled back, and now making a move. And this, believe it or not, is a lot of people thought this was a bleep here, but this looks like it's going to sit there and try to make a move to get down here to setting 132. And it's slowly moving down there right now. Next, the resistance level on this guy is going to be 82.62, which is going to be a major resistance level. Uh, minor one's going to be, uh, it's kind of at a minor level, 8,000. And the next minor is going to be 82.25. Australia, New Zealand, which is one I love. This thing just continuously keeps on going down, 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 down. And it's still very strong going down, uh, not showing any signs of weakness at all. It kind of broke a minor resistance level that it kind of, not kind of broke it, but it's kind of right at a minor resistance level right now. Uh, if it breaks that, then it, can, it has the ability to go up to about 110.27, uh, um, which is going to be its first uh, ma a major resistance. If it holds there, then it can have set there, retest the low, and keep on going. Remember, these pullbacks are healthy for a natural trend going down, especially for something that's been going down for a long time. You kind of need some people to take some profit and keep it in check. Uh, something that goes down drastically is not good. Australian USD is a bearish trend here, pulled back to about 97.23, 
held and now we've retested the low at 89.34 uh, and now the question is if we're going to break this momentum is kind of iffy to a point it's kind of 50 50 on breaking this right now so we're going to kind of wait and see what happens uh minor resistance level on this guy is right now which we're kind of at is 89.50 it's got to get above 89.50 and close that on uh, the daily time frame Ideally, you want it to decline and close above 9,000. If it does, then this thing can sit there and say, maybe this is a bottom out here and to go higher. If it sits there and breaks this 89.34 by the end of this week, well, we'll go down to a whole new leg going lower. <coughs> Canadian Switzy, this is basically a nice little trend going down here. Uh, we broke this minor support, this support level here, 8509, which is now going to act as a resistance. Uh, the next level that we have that this thing's going to keep on going down is somewhere right here, right here at 80, 86, 8078. It's going to be this next support. After that, it's basically going to be 7724 and then possibly retesting the low here. But this thing is slowly trickling down to a point the probability of getting higher and higher and higher of this thing trickling down in 2014 go all the way down to 7096 so be very careful and cautious on that uh, on that thing going down cad yen this has been an interesting one this is basically a bullish trend here and this has gone for a major pullback here it's been stuck in the consolidation pattern between 92 let's just say roughly around 92 and 9727 now this thing has broken the 9727 level now it's going to hold there and retest the high if it could retest the high then it does have a possibility going higher support them for this guy is going to be 9674 which it has to hold going forward switch to yen of course all the yens are pretty much uh, weak against and most of the currencies are stronger switch to yen is continuing its dominance to go up This is probably the yen uh, one of the currencies against the yen pairs is the strongest Hasn't even shown any signs of it of even a minor pullback or a major at all Euro Australian this is bullish here. You could see support in this guy is going to be 4813 uh, It's going to be it's uh, Sorry First major support is going to be 49.47. Next one's going to be about 48.13. But this is still going higher and higher. Uh, and the resistance now is going to be around 5,600. Nice even number up there. Euro CAD. This trend is going you know, on higher and higher and higher. It's showing signs of weakness here. Maybe pulling back now. Kind of looks like it topped out around 4,700. Got a minor resistance level of 4,599. Uh, and then... Uh, a minor support roughly around 44.50 and then major support around 43.57 euro switzy uh, i don't even like talking about this because this is one ugly movement which really doesn't move so i'm just going to skip this one euro dkk <coughs> if you look at this this is just basically consolidating but it's trying to get to the high pivot high way up here slowly getting there transversing there and getting there i think it has a high probability of eventually getting there 77.4624 but it's, it's taking a sweet time to get there euro pound if you look at euro pound let's zoom in had a move up here which is basically a ugly consolidation pattern retested a high here and then came back down here got to a major support down here to about 82 80 82 80 uh, 81 resistance is 85 10 this thing is slowly trickling down all it needs to do is break the 82 81 level if it does this is going to go retest the low and very nicely uh, which is pretty much going to be around a 300 pip a 400 pip movement to about 7800 so definitely look for that support to be broken and if it does it'll sit there and get there euro yen uh, basically was established at this major resistance level 141.19 it looks like it broke it but we gotta wait to the end of the week to kinda see that if it did break it this thing's gonna get to a whole new level where it definitely uh, will have a high probability of getting uh, let me see let me shrink this down some more uh so whoa that's too much so this thing will does it definitely has a high probability of sitting there getting to this level here 14502 which is the next resistance level for uh the euro yen but this thing definitely needs to pull back before it could do that minor support is going to be 141.93 uh major support is going to be about 138.49 right now euro nook this is slowly going up 
uh, kind of struggling right around here. This looks like a resistance level right here uh, and that it's kind of having trouble with. And you could kind of see why it's had trouble back here. At 8.54.11 is a major resistance level. If it breaks that, it's going to enter some resistance level, this consolidation pattern up there. So this is getting a little ugly up there, but it is holding its ground. Um, support for this guy is going to be 3,700. Uh, and resistance is going to be 45.10. If it could break 45.10, it could retest the high and continue its dominance to go up. So definitely look for that moving forward. Euro yen. Euro yen is not really doing anything except consolidating between, if you look at it, 6100 and 7000. So this thing's just not really doing anything. Euro SEK, really not doing anything here. Looks like a bullish trend here, but basically consolidating here in big wide range between 8.30000 and 9.1000, which is pretty much at the top of the range right now. Euro USD, this is an interesting one because if you look at this, this is one ugly consolidation pattern. You got a support here, basically 1.2801. And you got another a resistance now that's being established right around here at 37.78. If it could break this resistance here, then we're gonna have a high probability of getting to 4,500. So definitely watch the Euro USD. Uh, we're trying to break out one of its consolidation range at either 28.091 or 37.78, but we're at the top of the consolidation pattern right now. Pound Australian bullish trend here in both the daily and weekly. It, was, it broke a major resistance level at 8103, got to the next level, which is basically 8611, and that's the level now that it's got to break. If it breaks that, watch out because this thing's going to go higher to about 2000. Uh, but right now, we got to see it break this 8611 uh, uh, level, uh, which it pretty much touched. Uh, 8600 and bounced off that. We're at a minor support level there. Next one's going to be basically a 7804. So pound is continuing its dominance there against Australian. Uh, pound Switzy, nothing really going on right now. Uh, as you can look here, and let's just zoom in here. This is a nice bearish trend here, major pullback right now. And this thing is just consolidating here. But if you zoom in, you can kind of see this consolidation is actually trickling down some. So it actually can sit there. Let's increase this here. This is a consolidation pattern that's going on here, which is the top of the consolidation pattern, which is 48.28, and the bottom is 44.83. So if it could break the bottom of the 48.83, this thing's going to sit there, go lower, and retest the low. If it breaks 48.28, then we could go up to about 5,400 and the near term future into 2014. So definitely keep an eye on that. Pound yen, take a guess. It's bullish, of course. Broker resistance at 167.2.24. Minor supports 168.87. Major is going to be 165.75. Pound New Zealand, here, really not doing anything except consolidating here. And you can see the consolidation pattern. Notice the pivots were going lower here. We kind of got a established here for resistance level right now, which is right here at 2.0068. Uh, a minor support on this guy is going to be basically 94.48. It's got to hold that support at 94.48 and break that resistance level. If it does, it can sit there and go bullish. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in that. Pound USD with a nice little consolidation pattern. This was going lower, but now we kind of broke this resistance level here. Uh, and so we have a possibility of getting to 6,600 for the pound USD. It's showing strong signs of getting there. Minor support is going to be 62.70. Major one is going to be 61.68. And of course, the resistance is going to be 6,400. New Zealand CAD really doing nothing. Got to the resistance here, 87.76, which is the top of the consolidation range. It's at a uh, broke through minor support, which is now. 87.40 is going to be a minor resistance for this guy. And if you look at the support, support for this guy is going to be around 84.53. It's a little messy. i got to clear that up. Pound, sorry, New Zealand Switzy, really doing nothing right now, just consolidating. Bottom of the consolidation is basically 7,200, which is trying to get to the top is 8,000. Minor resistance level is going to be 84.17 for this. New Zealand yen, of course, is going bullish. Notice this is retesting a high. 
So this is kind of like one of the weak ones of the yen currencies right now, which is basically retesting the high here at 86.35. So this is kind of weak of all the yen pairs out there, New Zealand. So it'd be interesting to see on this one what happens this compared to all the yen pairs out there. So Switzy yen is definitely the strongest. This is kind of like the weakest so far that we've seen. Minor support for this is going to be 83.23. Major support is going to be 80.54. New Zealand USD really doing nothing. This is one ugly consolidation pattern between 7700 and 8600. Nothing really to talk about here. Minor supports 8114 uh, and minor resistance is going to be 82.33. Singapore yen bullish here just like the New Zealand yen retest the high here. This one actually retested the high at 8200 bounced off there which is pretty interesting so this is this is way up there with the New Zealand yen as far as being weak. Minor support it's at a minor support 81.32 next one's going to be 80.59 and the major one 79.04 okay US CAD U.S. CAD is basically bullish trend here, having a hard time breaking this resistance around 657 or 7 or if 700, whichever one you want to look at it based on the high weekly or daily, having a hard time breaking that. Support for this guy is 575. It's got to hold that level. If it doesn't hold that level, the major support it has to hold in order to keep a bullish is 458. So that's going to be the main. We have the a minor one of 575 and the major one of 458. U.S. Switzy slowly trickling down. As you could see, this is one of the things where a trend here. This is a major pullback, and this is slowly trickling down. Believe it or not, to sit there and get to the very support level. So this is going to be the first support level here. Next one's going to be roughly about right here. And then the last one, of course, is going to be this little bleep here, which a lot of people think you can't get there. But this thing's slowly trickling down and has a high probability 2014 getting all the way down there. Minor support for this guy is going to be 89.15. Got to break that to continue to go down. Resistance on this one's going to be 90.10, which it has to hold to keep on going bearish. If it gets above that, then we do have a possibility of this thing just entering a consolidation pattern, which it possibly can. Uh, USD DKK is basically at a major support at 4,000. Resistance is going to be 48.35. USD Hong Kong really doing nothing at all except it's hanging out here at the bottom of the consolidation pattern. Support on this one is going to be 7,500. Resistance on this guy is going to be around, let's say, 75.51. US yen, which a lot of people love this one, it basically broke the resistance here. And you could say it kind of broke it right now, but you can still gotta wait till the end of the week of it breaking this resistance at 10370, or you could just say 104 even mark. You gotta see where it closes, but it has a high probability of moving to the next leg. Minor supports are 10350 and 10209 is the major support for this guy. US Nook. Really doing nothing at all, consolidating. 2000 is basically the major resistance level. Minor support is going to be 1340. Major support is going to be basically 70. USD SEK, really doing nothing. It's ugly here. This is basically consolidating between 3000 and 7000. It's at a minor resistance level right now. Support is going to be 5046. And lastly, USD Singapore. Wow, that looks ugly. Really doing nothing here either. Uh, support in this guy is going to be about 2350. Resistance is going to be 2850. Uh, we looks like we broke the re minor resistance at 2600 right now, which has got to hold to keep on going higher uh, to that major uh, resistance of the consolidation pattern. But if you shrink this down, this just looks like one ugly thing where you had a bearish movement here has been consolidating real nicely here. Uh, this is basically the bottom of the consolidations right there. And the top of the consolidation is basically right here. So you really haven't done anything exciting for the last, what, one, two, three years. Uh, but this thing has just basically went down and is basically consolidated. So nothing really exciting has gone on at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Otherwise, I'll definitely see you in 2014. Uh, have a, everyone have a happy Christmas and a happy new year and uh, look forward to seeing everyone in 2014. Thank you.